everybody. I've got a journal complete to share with you guys. Uh, this one, as you probably know, this has taken me, gosh, probably close on two months since I started creating this journal. Um, it was just one of those journals that I just, I don't know, it took me longer than, <clears throat> than usual. But having said that, I'm super happy with how it's come out. Now it's not <clears throat> a true patchwork, but I have named this the patchwork because it's a very primitive Gina patchwork. <laughs> um, but I love how it's come out. I, I just gathered up all my fabrics one day and I just tried to kind of coordinate, you know, the colors and just um, randomly stitched it together. Now this is a two signature um, sewn in with a five hole pamphlet. And then on the cover, I just did a really um, rustic heart cut out from some muslin. And then I backed it with a little bit of batting. And then this was just a... Um, old doily that I just snipped around the embroidery work because I don't embroidery. <laughs> so um, that's how that came to be. And then <clears throat> the, the closure, I just thought, well, how fun to just go ahead and do kind of like a little snippet um, style, really rustic closure. So that's what I've done. And then I uh, uh, stitched it on the exterior but it blends because you know it's the patchwork as well but I love the way this journal feels um, like I said it's two signatures so there's lots of um, writing space within it but let's just get started inside so here um, the inside has been um, sewn uh, scrapbooking paper sewn in um, you know to the fabric front and then um, on this I've just created um, you've got a pocket back here you've got a pocket here and then I also made another little pocket here and just just have this is just another um, random mix of things um, within my stash and I'm really really enjoying it I, I like how everything is just not so matchy um, because that's just the direction I think my um, style is going in. And do you like today? I've changed, changed out and used one of my pretty um, embroidered tablecloths that I got from the flea market. I thought, oh, just for something a little bit different, because it's a little bit gray here today, and I thought, well, that would be nice to do something different. <laughs> Sorry, I've digressed again. <laughs> um, in this pocket, this is a, one of the collage pockets I made a while back. Um, I just did another little tag. Yeah, there's actually two pockets on this, so that's um, additional space for you. Everything's tea dyed various um, vintage book pages again and like I said I've been working on this this has to be close to um, two months since I began this journal and obviously you know I've set it to the side and then came back um, and worked on it a little bit and that's just why it's taken me so long because I've been doing other orders in between this is some of the Tim Holtz water paper um, sorry wallpaper Paper. I've just got a few sheets of that left, so I thought I'd put one in here. Um, so like I said, lots of space to work on. Now this is a um, Yvonne Preston inspired pocket. I was looking through my journals the other day because um, my first swap was with Yvonne. And I just got all my journals out the other day and thought, oh... You know, she has such great ideas, and I need to, um, I need to start, you know, using more of the lady's ideas. So, so this is definitely her, um, her work in here. And there's another pocket behind, and then I've just done a little, um, 
these are this is that Tim Holtz tattered butterfly die. So thank you, Yvonne, for that idea. Um, here is one of my uh, doily pockets, and then I just took the um, negative cut from that butterfly and created a little journal um, card here, and that's been backed with like the the craft shipping paper. I keep referring to it as craft paper, and that's not what it is. It's the stuff on the roll because it's thin. Um, and this was an old, um, I think it was called How to Use Your Weeds book. And I, it's, it was a really interesting book, and I, I think this is one of the few last pages I've got of that book. Um, but yeah, it had all sorts of interesting things on how to make <clears throat> you know, different types of wine and beer from weeds and how to incorporate them into your salads. So yeah, I, re I love that kind of stuff. I'm really, really into the holistic, um, natural thing. Um, here, this is um, handmade paper that's, <clears throat> you know, in an envelope. I have not made that, by the way, because I think... I had a couple of people ask me about it. No, I hadn't. Um, I've got a shop here that's really, um, it's a real high-end, uh, kind of like an interior shop, but gosh, if they got a real eclectic mix of things from kitchen to um, hand-dyed uh, fabrics, um, and that's where I get my um, Irish linen thread from. And they've got a small section of, of handmade papers and envelopes, so that's where I, I came across these. Um, a couple little glass beads on this signature. Uh, this is an Artie Mays tag here. And then this is um, Artie Mays journaling card. I love those. They look so vintage. Um, paper here is um, antique papery, and let's see, this is some parchment paper that I've added. This is an old doily. Um, that's another page from that, uh, How to Use Your Weeds. Um, here we've got, um, these were from one of Artie Mae's kits, and I think it was... Um, afternoon tea or something along those lines. Um, I've had that kit for a couple of years now and uh, it's a beautiful kit. And I just found these pockets I had left over and I thought, oh, I'll just tuck those in because I think against the back, the black uh, background, I really like that. This is a Artie Mae's um, little floral journal card and then this little envelope and this is Tsunami Rose. Here, let's see, I've got um, this doily punch, and I just created that little tuck spot from that. And just some more little, I love this image. This is a Tsunami Rose. Um, I can't recall what kit that's from. Um, gosh, I've had that. One of my first, well, in fact, Tsunami Rose was the first um, digital kit I ever bought. And um, so that's, what, that's going way, way back, that one. I'm terrible with remembering, as you guys know. Um, here I just made a little fabric snippet ultra paper clip, and I like how that's come out. That's some uh, fabric. Did I show you guys? Just a little piece that I picked up this last weekend at the flea market. I can't even, gosh, I can't even remember what I've showed and what I haven't. Um, here's another little tag I made for it. I'm kind of <laughs> out of it today, as you can tell, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's getting light here super early. Um, I mean, like, 4 o'clock early. And today, I just woke up, and uh, I felt rested and ready to go. And so here we are at 10. Well, I've been up for 6 hours, so yeah, my brain is starting to fade. 
even more than normal. <laughs> Here's a, um, this is a Calico Collage um, journal card. I had that left over from a kit I used when I was designing for her. And this is one of the little um, notebook. And it's got the pocket here. I made this in one of the 100 day uh, projects. In fact, there's two pockets. And uh, so I've just tucked that in this little pocket here. You can cut some of this linen, linen thread off if you want to, because I did put quite a bit on there. I'll leave it and you can snip it off. Here is a tuck spot. Now these vintage mason jars, aren't those beautiful? That's a Seneca Pond image. And I, uh, that kit, I think you get four. Well, there's four on a sheet, but I can't remember how many sheets you get, but that is, they're beautiful. So that's been left open for you to have a little tuck spot there. And this is the second signature. I've done a um, just a fabric uh, pocket there. This is one of the tags that I recently showed, and I've I've offered this as a free um, scan. It's a couple videos back now, so if you're interested, look for the one that says freebie, um, and you can get those tags. There's three of them. Some old music sheet. Here is a wallpaper pocket. I've stitched on a little button there. And inside, this is a calico collage uh, from her Sunflower journal kit. So again, this is just another um, garden, um, I guess kind of a country garden theme going on with this one. Uh, big pocket here. Uh, I can't recall what scrapbook paper that was, but I love that because it's got the little stamped image, and I don't know. It would have been one from Tuesday morning, but I can't remember now. Um, here's a little tuck spot. This was um, I believe this is Calico Collage image, and then this just off the um, a scan off of the internet. Some more of the um, Paper or antique papery paper. I love those papers. Uh, some more um, Artie Mays. And this pocket is a Seneca Pond from her uh, cottage garden, which I've not done a um, journal on. I will be doing that in the next. I'm hoping to have it complete in about two weeks' time. Um, this is her latest journal kit, and it is beautiful. Um, so I've got it all printed out, ready to start working with. This is just a um, needle point book page. I just thought it was pretty, something just different. And then here uh, I made a little pocket and another little printout. Trying to see that that's been glued down, and then I created a, another little pocket here, and then this little um, seed envelope I have not glued together, so that way it could be some more writing space, or it can be glued together. I thought that was pretty. Um, these are I meant to say this in my trio of the hardcover journals. I uh, meant to say that these are original book pages, um, and this one you can really, sh it really shows up good. I picked this up about three years back at um, the flea market here, and it's, oh my gosh, the images are just beautiful. Um, I can't recall what the book was called, but oh, aren't they beautiful? So that's... Um, I put one of those pages in um, each of the um, hardcover journals, and then I had one in this as well. Some more of the um, How to Use Your Weed book page. I love those. I really 
got to look to try to come across another one of those. This one's got a uh, fabric postcard. There's no lavender in this one. This is just, um, you know, just the fabric, but I thought I'd tuck that in there. I'm hoping to get around to making some of the little um, tea bag lavender sachets that are, um, you know, the altered with papers and, and um, laces to put in the journals. I'm going to try to get those done in the next couple of weeks. And then this page, um, this, you know, the Tim Holtz photo die, I believe. And then here I've got a little pocket inside. And there's a pocket down here as well, so there's lots of space. Uh, I do like adding those to my journals. And just some random random pieces of um, my scrapbooking paper I've got. Um, here was just some leftover, um, you know, edging from the when I cut down my papers. And I just took the ruler. I had, I had ripped the pages with the ruler in that journal, and these were left over, so I've just stitched those all three together and formed a little uh, tuck spot there. And there's another image that's gorgeous. And then this is a decoupage book page, page envelope. You've got a space back here to tuck some things, and then this opens up <coughs> and inside. I've got uh, a couple of these little journaling cards. This is from Tracy's Faux Ephemera Kit um, on Love Junk Journals on Etsy. And then the very back is um, a waterfall, and then I've got a pocket, a little tuck spot here with a journal card. And then these flip up so that you can add either photos or you could do some journaling here. Um, so yeah, it's just a complete mix um, of digital kits, scrapbooking papers, uh, fabrics. It's just the patchwork. That's what I've called it, and like I said, if you're looking for perfection in, in the uh, patchwork, this is not the journal for you because it's very, very primitive and uh, rustic because I'm not that good to, to be uh, making patchwork quilts, but I do love how it's come out. It's got a really nice feel to it, and uh, if you're curious about it, I'll have the listing uh, link below to my shop. Um, and it'll have the details on how many pages because I don't know off the top of my head. So anyways, there it is, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by, and um, I will see you back here very soon with a Create With Me. You guys have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.